Over the last 11 weeks, we've seen 41,000 people in five African countries. We've trained over 500 teachers to deliver engaging science with simple items. And I think most importantly, we trained over 160 local Africans. Uh, a big part of Science Circus Africa is really kind of planting a seed so that African countries can carry this on. So we train locals, we donate them equipment, PA systems, whole exhibitions so that they can keep running the circus when we're gone. One of the really special things was seeing how the science got interpreted in African context. So when we wrote the shows and the exhibits, you'd always think, all right, how can we make this relevant to Africa? But of course, when you get over there, you find all this stuff you never would have thought uh, was out there. For example, we're doing uh, sound experiments uh, with the little straw trumpet. You know, you cut the straw, it makes the little trumpet noise. And then as we're doing it, this kid comes up and he's got this bit of, you know, cut up uh, kind of bamboo reed with a plastic bag on the end. And we're like, what? And then he starts playing it. So, you know, he's using the same concepts that we're teaching. Uh, but really interpreted in an African way. The great thing about this program is, you know, we totally smashed the kind of numbers that we thought we'd saw, outcomes much bigger than what we thought. So it's got a chance to really, I get hit a number of development goals. If you think about things like, you know, health, sanitation, they're all underpinned by science. And so that makes science education a really critical thing, particularly in these countries where the formal science education is not in good shape. And if you look at informal edu uh, science education, it's basically non-existent. So we're really trying to help them get that going.